America's Wagon Master, the first manufacturer to mass-produce station wagons for the American public. Since 1949, Ford has proven its station wagon supremacy by selling over one million more station wagons than anyone else. One million more. In fact, Ford has had station wagon leadership in 25 of the past 29 years and nine of the past 10. During this time, Ford has built a solid reputation for offering more of what station wagon buyers want. Passenger room, comfort and convenience, cargo space, versatility, and value for the money. All are traditional Ford wagon strengths. This all new country squire is a perfect example of Ford's continuing efforts to build the best station wagon in the business. When compared to previous models, like this 1978 Country Squire, the all-new 1979 Ford LTD station wagons feature significantly trimmer exterior dimensions, which result in improved maneuverability. In fact, the 79 Ford LTD wagons boast a curb-to-curb -curb turning diameter that's over 3.5 feet tighter than last year. And yet these trimmer exterior dimensions do not result in a sacrifice of interior passenger space. According to the EPA volume index, the 1979 LTD station wagons actually provide more passenger space than last year's model. And with a second seat folded down, the new full-size Ford wagons provide a full 90 cubic feet of cargo space, an amount unsurpassed in the industry. It seems clear, then, that Ford has designed and built an all-new full-size station wagon that more than lives up to the high standards set by previous models. In the next few minutes, we're going to see how Ford's all-new LTD station wagon compares to its major competitor, the full-size Chevrolet wagon. Together, Ford and Chevrolet account for about two out of every three full-size station wagon sales. They are, without question, the top two contenders in the full-size wagon market. We're going to concentrate on Ford and Chevrolet because in terms of appearance, the Buick, Oldsmobile, and Pontiac full-size wagons are virtually identical to the Chevrolet Caprice station wagon. Similarly, in terms of passenger space, they're nearly identical. And the same holds true when it comes to cargo space. And remember, Chrysler Corporation no longer makes a full-size station wagon. A buyer shopping for a wagon in a Chrysler dealership can select only from Volari Aspen or LeBaron Diplomat models, all of which offer considerably less cargo space than LTD, and in fact, six cubic feet less cargo space than our Fairmont station wagon. The Ford Country Squire and the Chevrolet Caprice Classic Estate are comparable in terms of exterior size. However, the design efficiency of a station wagon can perhaps best be measured by examining passenger room and cargo space. Let's compare to find out which station wagon offers the most efficient overall design. First, passenger space. It's a fact that the median family size for full-size station wagon buyers is about five people. So, interior passenger space is an important station wagon buying consideration. And the LTD wagons provide more of the room that these buyers are looking for. In front, the Ford LTD station wagons offer more shoulder room and over six inches more front seat hip room than the Chevy wagon. In back, Ford provides more shoulder and leg room and 30% more rear seat knee clearance. And as is the case with sedans, LTD station wagons are equipped with standard tilt-away door hinges that allow the doors to open wider at the top for plenty of head and shoulder clearance to permit easy entry and exit from the passenger compartment. In addition to room, the new LTD wagons provide a number of important comfort and convenience advantages versus the Chevy competition. For example, the Chevrolet seats are constructed of a foam pad on a metal shell. 
Ford, on the other hand, features new flexilator seat construction with deep foam and steel support straps in the cushion for good seating support. Behind the wheel, Ford's new master control position provides a more upright seating perspective than Chevrolet. And Ford's convenient stock-mounted controls perform five functions, headlight dimmer, turn signals, horn, windshield wipers, and windshield washer, all at the driver's fingertips. In contrast, the Chevy Smart Switch performs only two functions, turn signals and headlamp dimmer. But for a good many station wagon buyers, comfort, convenience, and room for up to six people isn't enough. That's why both Ford and Chevrolet offer an optional two-passenger third seat. Here again, there are some important differences. First, in order to take advantage of the third seat, it must be unfolded from its position under the cargo floor and locked in its final upright position. Let's see how this is done in a Chevrolet wagon. Now the same procedure in the Ford station wagon. I think it's obvious. The action of unfolding the third seat is considerably easier in a Ford. There's also a major difference in third seat configurations. As you can see, the Ford wagons feature dual facing third seats, while Chevrolet's third seat faces to the rear. The Ford third seat can afford easier entry and exit. And since third seat passengers are frequently children, Ford's dual facing arrangement can make it easier for them to pass the time on long trips. Another point, Ford's dual facing third seat provides extra storage space, a convenient area between the second and third seats. This added cargo carrying convenience is not possible with Chevy's rear facing third seat configuration. Both wagons provide underfloor storage space that can be utilized when the optional third seat is not in use. 5.7 cubic feet of space in the Ford wagon, only 4.5 cubic feet for Chevrolet wagons equipped with the optional third seat. In addition, one or both of the Ford third seat cushions can be easily removed to provide almost two cubic feet of additional underfloor storage. Chevy's third rear seat cushion cannot be removed. That gives Ford a total underfloor load space advantage of over three cubic feet. It also means that something as large as this can fit out of the way and out of sight in the Ford. Not the case in the Chevy wagon. So in terms of standard and optional seating arrangements, the Ford LTD station wagon offers advantages in roominess, convenience, and versatility. Now, let's compare above floor cargo space. With almost 90 cubic feet of cargo space, the 1979 Ford LTD wagons are unsurpassed in the industry. It's as simple as that. No GM station wagon provides as much cargo carrying capacity. And while we're talking about cargo areas, there's yet another important Ford LTD advantage. Every LTD station wagon comes equipped with standard load floor carpeting to help protect cargo. The carpeting is also removable for easy cleaning. Every Chevrolet wagon, on the other hand, including the top of the line Caprice Classic Estate, offers a metal floor. Carpeting like you see here is optional, and when ordered, it's fixed, not removable. And the 79 Fords continue to provide the popular three-way magic door gate, a better idea that Chevrolet picked up in recent years. Ford also offers a cargo opening that is wider here at the Beltline 
and a cargo area that is both longer and higher than Chevy's to make it easier to carry a wider variety of cargo. When you add it all up, the LTD wagons provide more cargo space, both above the load floor and under it. Interior roominess, cargo space, versatility, all are important. And so too is having available a wide variety of options, offering the flexibility to tailor a station wagon to meet a variety of buyer needs. For example, many buyers use their station wagons to tow heavy trailers. Both Ford and Chevrolet station wagons are rated to tow up to 6,000 pounds. However, Ford offers the equipment necessary to do so in one optional heavy-duty trailer towing package. Chevrolet does not offer such a package. The Chevy buyer must purchase separate options and or accessories. And even then, he can't order from the factory such items as a trailer towing wiring harness or a power steering oil cooler to help maintain proper oil temperature. And another point regarding trailer towing. For the customer who wants maximum cargo and people space, plus maximum trailer towing capacity, there's Ford's Club Wagon, rated to tow up to 8,000 pounds. That's 1,000 pounds more than any other van-type wagon in the industry. Other Ford LTD station wagon optional equipment advantages over Chevrolet include more power seating options, such as six-way power seating for the passenger as well as the driver. Chevrolet offers no power seat option for passenger comfort on long trips. In addition, the Ford LTD wagon buyer can select the interior luxury group, offering a higher level of luxury than is available on any Chevrolet station wagon. Ford also comes through with better ideas in traditional options, like speed control, equipped with resume and accelerate features, and with the switches conveniently located on the steering wheel itself. And there's a tilt steering wheel that can be operated with both hands on the steering wheel. Ford LTD also offers a choice of either a flight bench or a split bench front seat, both available with dual recliners. Chevrolet's only seating option is a split bench seat, and they offer a recliner only for the passenger. And only Ford LTD station wagon buyers can order breathable, easy-to-clean Duraweave upholstery. Finally, price. The base sticker prices of the Country Squire and Caprice Classic Estate are about the same. However, once these vehicles are comparably equipped, by adding to the Chevrolet items like load floor carpeting, front and rear bumper guards, and a left-hand remote control mirror, Ford's advantage grows to $125. In addition to this price advantage, you can also offer more people space, more cargo space, more versatility, more standard comfort and convenience features, and broader option availability than Chevrolet. The all-new full-size Ford LTD wagons win in every area. That's just one reason for the Ford's Wagon Master title. Let's look at another. The Ford Fairmont Station Wagon, the best-selling wagon in the mid-size segment of the market. A wagon offering more room for the money than any wagon in the industry. In order to demonstrate its important strengths, let's compare Fairmont to two of its major competitors, the Plymouth Volari and the Chevrolet Malibu wagons. And remember, Chevrolet's new Nova replacement, the Citation, does not offer a station wagon model this year. First, let's compare cargo space. With over 79 cubic feet of it, the Fairmont wagon offers about six cubic feet more cargo space than the Malibu and Volari wagons. A number represented by something as large as these suitcases. Fairmont also offers more cargo space than the Dodge Diplomat and Chrysler LeBaron wagons. In fact, the roomy Fairmont station wagon provides about 90% of the cargo space found in the full-size Chevrolet wagon. Fairmont also makes loading and unloading very convenient with its one-piece liftgate that can be opened or closed in just one operation. 
Volari has a one-piece liftgate, too. But Malibu Classic and all the other BOP wagons now come equipped with a two-piece gate. They can be more cumbersome to operate. And you have to lean over the extended lower half of the GM tailgate to load or unload cargo. That's not the case with Fairmont. In addition to cargo space and convenience, mid-sized station wagon buyers are also interested in good fuel economy. According to EPA estimates, the Fairmont wagon, with its standard 2.3 liter engine and four-speed manual transmission, comes through with better fuel economy than the Volari station wagon. Even with its optional 3.3 liter six, Fairmont offers better mileage ratings than Volari. Fairmont also offers a number of functional standard features that are not available on Malibu or Volari. Features like a strut-type front suspension, which contributes to flat cornering, and precise rack and pinion steering for good maneuverability. In addition, Fairmont's long list of available options, a few of which are shown here, enable it to be tailored to meet a variety of buyer needs in the mid-sized station wagon market. The Fairmont wagon can therefore compete effectively at the lower end of the segment against products like the base Volari wagon, at the upper end against the Malibu Classic wagon, or at virtually any level in between. Now, let's look at the bottom line, price. Versus the Plymouth Volari wagon, Fairmont has a base sticker price advantage of $266. Even after equipment adjustments that include a six-cylinder engine, power front disc brakes, and load floor carpet, Fairmont still has an advantage of $147. And when the Fairmont wagon is compared to the Chevy Malibu, there's a base sticker price advantage of $634 and a comparably equipped advantage of $308. After adding items like a six-cylinder engine, power front disc brakes, and the exterior accent group. Cargo space, versatility, fuel efficiency, standard features, option availability, and price. All excellent reasons why the Ford Fairmont station wagon will continue to dominate the mid-sized station wagon market. The third reason for Ford's Wagon Master title is the Pinto station wagon, America's best-selling small wagon. Pinto Wagon once again holds the upper hand over competition when it comes to flexibility, cargo capacity, convenience, and perhaps most importantly, all-around value. First, let's compare the Pinto Wagon with the Chevrolet Monza station wagon. In reality, the Monza Wagon is essentially just a restyled Vega on the old Vega chassis. But note that the Monza wood-grained estate wagon has been discontinued this year leaving Monza with only a steel-sided model. And the styling remains virtually unchanged for 79. Pinto Wagon, on the other hand, is new. Up here, it's new inside. And it's new back here. Pinto's new design for 79 goes hand in hand with a long list of standard features, some of which are new this year. Monza has added some standard features in 1979, too, like an AM radio, tinted glass, and body side moldings, all of which are also standard on Pinto. But Pinto still provides a number of features as standard that are either not available or optional on the Monza wagon. These include rack and pinion steering, a front stabilizer bar, steel belted radials, flipper side windows, and an electric rear window defroster. Yet even with this considerably higher level of standard equipment, the Pinto station wagon still holds a base price advantage of $27 and a comparably equipped advantage of $257. But when price is your wagon prospect's most important consideration, you can offer the new Pinto Pony station wagon at $3,633, it's the lowest priced wagon in America. Base sticker priced a full $457 under the Monza wagon. 
Another important consideration is resale value. Since its introduction, the Pinto station wagon has consistently maintained a higher wholesale price than the Vega and Monza wagons. In fact, according to the February 79 edition of the Black Book Used Car Guide, the wholesale price of a late model Pinto station wagon is $200 to $550 higher than a comparable Vega or Monza wagon. Pinto Wagon's lower initial purchase price, coupled with its higher resale value, gives you a subcompact wagon story that Chevrolet can't match. Price and value are important, but so too is interior roominess. Versus the Monza Wagon, Pinto offers over four and a half inches more front hip room and nearly two inches more rear shoulder room. Now, let's check out the cargo area. With the rear seat folded down, Pinto offers over 57 cubic feet of cargo space. That's over 10 cubic feet more space than is offered in the Monza wagon. Extra space that is represented here by these 10 full bags of groceries. In addition, Pinto has a cargo floor that's nearly four inches longer than Monza's for added cargo carrying flexibility and a rear opening that's both wider and higher for greater ease of loading and unloading. Another measurement worthy of noting is Pinto's curb to curb turning diameter, just 30.7 feet, almost five feet tighter than Monza's. With solid advantages in the area of standard features, price, passenger space, cargo space, and maneuverability, the Pinto station wagon should continue to lead the way in the domestic subcompact wagon market this year. But what about the imports? Let's take a brief look at how Pinto wagon stacks up against the top selling import, the Toyota Corolla station wagon. Both are well equipped vehicles, but Pinto holds some important advantages including a liftgate open warning light, an AM radio, and rack and pinion steering. In addition to these standard feature advantages, Pinto Wagon offers more passenger space, according to the EPA, than Toyota Corolla Wagon, four cubic feet more. The Pinto Wagon also provides a tighter turning diameter and slightly more cargo space. Now, additionally, Pinto offers an optional 2.8 liter V6 engine. No engine options are offered on the Toyota station wagon. And even with its advantages in standard features, maneuverability, interior room, and cargo space, the Pinto station wagon is still base sticker priced $870 under the Toyota station wagon. When the models are comparably equipped with items like white sidewall tires, styled steel wheels, power brakes, and an AM radio, Pinto's advantage remains a solid $800. There's no doubt about it. With all it has going for it, the Pinto wagon should continue to outsell any subcompact wagon, domestic or foreign. Ford is America's wagon master because it offers a balanced station wagon lineup designed to meet the needs of a wide range of wagon buyers. LTD, unsurpassed in station wagon room, offering more room for the money than any full-size wagon. Fairmont, America's best-selling mid-size station wagon, with more room for the money than any wagon in the industry. And Pinto, the best-selling subcompact wagon in America, offering more cargo room and value for the money than any other subcompact wagon. With a lineup like this, you've got what it takes to effectively sell against competition in every segment of the station wagon market. <laughs>